A former leader of the Northeast Florida State Hospital is now revealing to the News for Jack's Eye team a situation involving patients he calls very scary, telling us it's been happening for years. Yeah, the mental health facility treats criminal defendants, and it's run by the Department of Children and Families. Eye team investigator Marilyn Parker has been following the developments and speaking with employees and families affected by what they call abuse at the hospital. Employees say they are fighting to make things better for the vulnerable population at Nefish. They say it's been a challenge because they haven't had the support they need. Families say they are fed up with this mental health facility. People can't continue to get hurt, can't continue to be killed in there. I felt like I was lied to by the hospital. Both these women say they are traumatized by events at the Northeast Florida State Hospital or Nefish. They accuse the hospital of being poorly run and understaffed, leading to the death of their loved ones. It's, it's very scary. Dr. Richard Hernstein was the chief hospital administrator and chief medical officer for all DCFC state hospitals when both deaths occurred. If I had a loved one or, or family member or friend uh, in one of the state mental health treatment facilities, I would be extremely concerned. Nefish was under Hernstein's direction from December 2020 to December 2021. He says he gave multiple presentations to DCF employees on the lack of staff at Nefish. We especially were critically low on uh, direct care staff workers and uh, nursing staff. We were also low on physicians as well, which presented a real uh, danger, I would say, to not only, uh, not only patients at the facilities, but also the staff. According to this Adult Protective Services or APS report released in 2022, danger was a concern when a patient was attacked by another patient at Nefish in 2020. The patient died in 2021 and reports say it was from COVID-19 but his family says it was from the attack. Initially, four hospital staffers were named as alleged perpetrators, but they were exonerated. Dr. Hernstein says he tried to get the employees rehired due to low staff, but was denied, then fired. I, I was doing the right thing. Uh, and, and for that, I was I was fired. APS named Nefish physician Yolanda Hernandez and top hospital administrator Linda Williams as alleged perpetrators. Marie Maddox is an attorney representing employees of Nefish who spoke out after reporting low staffing and abuse of patients. She says management is ill prepared. They don't know from Shinola. OK, we have somebody who is going to listen and is in the process of listening and is trying to get people to be put back into their rightful positions, Dr. Herstein, and they fire him. Hernstein hired a lawyer to file his whistleblower complaint. A Leon County judge reinstated Hernstein in December. Hernstein says he plans to return to work at the hospital. Now, Dr. Richard Hernstein isn't the first to file a whistleblower complaint about this facility. Dustin Williams, a hospital RN, filed a suit in 2020 alleging intimidation, retaliation, and discrimination. In that complaint, Williams alleged Nephis physician Hernandez seemed in indifferent about risks to patients, and he said she wouldn't do anything to correct them. Williams settled his lawsuit with DCF. We reached out to Hernandez to bring you her perspective, and we're waiting to hear back. The I-team has emailed DCF six different times with a total of 16 questions. And over the last 270 days, their only response was we will process your request and get back to you. This system is just broken and it's going to take a lot more than Dustin. It's going to take a lot more than Richard Herstein to fix it because, as I said, the fish rots from the head down. Dr. Herstein, Dustin Williams, and Maddox say they will keep fighting for better conditions at Nefish. When we get a response from DCF, we'll update this story on newsforjax.com. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.